I'm here at the far end of the Sunrise Beach and this is called Zodiac Beach and this is actually the perfect spot to see the sunset. It's around 5.30 now at 6 the sun sets. A good evening! We are here on Koh Lipe Island and we just arrived today. We took the plane from Bangkok, minivan from Hat Yai to Pakbara and then the speedboat right here to the island. The evening is setting in. We are on Pattaya Beach and today I want to give you an update on how this beach looks. The last time we've been here was around 12 years ago. A lot has changed. I can see that it is a lot more busy. But first, I will show you the evening and then tomorrow morning we are going to do a tour in the nature reserve, which is just north of the island here. We're gonna get ourselves a private boat. The reef in Colipe is particularly healthy and that's why this island is very popular for diving and snorkeling. And you actually find 25% of the tropical fish species in the world right here around Colipe. The most famous dive site is the Stonehenge site, which is one of the best diving sites in Thailand. Yeah, I can already see that it's a bit more busy here. We're having a beautiful sunset. You know, sunsets are always good on the islands. So Koh Lipe is the most southern island in Thailand. We are actually around the corner from Malaysia. From here, it's a very short distance to Langkawi Island. Hey boy! <laughs> So let's go here through the walking street. So tonight we're gonna go eat and drink in here and we're gonna look for a place where we can find a tour so the walking street is perfect if you are looking for some souvenirs to bring back home. Obviously, if you're in Bangkok, you can go to MBK or you can go to the Chattachak market. But if you don't have time for that, you can also get it here.
So from here is actually a short walk to the other side of the island. You know, it's always funny. A lot of the touristic destinations in Thailand are super busy and Koh Lipe is busy as well, but not as busy as for example, Koh Tao or Koh Panyan or Koh Samui. Mayala. And the reason is that it's a bit more difficult to get here. You know, it's always nice to be here at the golden hour sun is setting in and yeah regarding how it used to be first of all 12 years ago we did not have the coffee shops here and it's just in general a lot more shops and I remember that in that time the street was not paved You know, it does have a bit of an atmosphere like you can find in Relay Beach. If you uh, remember the video that I made there a couple of months ago. <laughs> As I already mentioned, Kolipa is the most southern island in Thailand, which means it's around the corner from Malaysia. And this part of Thailand is predominantly Muslim So when you get to the end of this street You're almost on the other side of the island So Kolipe is part of the Tarutau National Park and this is the only island where officially the people can live and Tomorrow when we do the tour, we'll show you the nature park Cap. <laughs> kind of food court here. I don't know what cup this is. <laughs> Later. You have all the fish, turtles. Whoa. If you want to have some good beers, you come here for the corner Lippe or the Lippe corner. Same as in Khao San, you have a zero kilometer point. <laughs> see here. Hello. See here you see the location of Lipe and then you have Ko Adang, Ko Rawi, Ko Dong. And there at Hingnam, you have the black stones. And if you want to look for a tour, you can come to any of these travel agencies here in town and they can help you.
and as always when I'm on the islands put on my flip-flops and you hear my flip flop This is basically the main street of the village, but we're gonna cross here towards the beach. When you cross the island, you get here to the Sunrise Beach. And what's beautiful about this beach is this is where all the boats are docked that are doing their trips during the day. And there are a couple of nice resorts in here. And if you look in the distance, you see the islands of Malaysia, Langkawi over there. On the northern part of Sunrise Beach, you have a small village. And this is where all the fishermen live. And if you wanna rent a boat for a day trip, this is where you can also get them for the best price. And this is also how we found Kun Sang. And his day trip was 1500 baht. And if you organize it through the resort, it's 2800 baht. So it's quite a bit of a difference. I'm here at the far end of the Sunrise Beach and this is called Zodiac Beach. And this is actually the perfect spot to see the sunset. You have a great view of the marine park that's right here. It's around 5.30 now, at 6 the sun sets. I'm here at the far end of the Sunrise Beach and for 50 baht they can bring you to Patia Beach. Okay, let's go. So if you need onwards transport, you can come here in the Koh Lipe travel shop and this is called the ThaiBeachTravelers.com and here you can buy your ticket. Sawadee Cup. What's your name? My name is Yoyo. Yoyo, okay. <laughs> and Yoyo, make sure that we go to Kokradan tomorrow. Thank you so much. You Kap So I hope you enjoyed this update regarding Koh Lipe Island. If you enjoyed this update, feel free to subscribe, drop me a line, and see you guys in my next uh, video. Uh...